Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is for maybe here again with another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make this stunning turban cap that you have right here in front of you on your screen. I wore this turban in my last video, which was a vlog, and I told you guys I was going to show you guys how to make this particular turban cap and i'm here to fulfill my promise okay you know fumi v does everything but she doesn't promise and fail okay so in today's video i'm going to be sharing all the necessary tools as well as steps that you need to take in order to achieve this beautiful turban cap i'm also going to be sharing measurements and tips and tricks and things that you need to note while making this turban cap so if you'll be interested in knowing everything about making this versatile headwear please make sure you watch this video to the end also most importantly please hit the like button okay go ahead to hit the like button so youtube spreads my video to a wider audience and i also know that you guys you know enjoy the video and also please 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 don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share with your friends all right guys let's get straight into the video let's go all right guys so as usual i'll show you all you need you need your poly fabric for me i'm using poly you can use satin too if that's what works for you or mercury just use any choice of fabric okay but for me i want a stretchy fabric i'm also going to be using this silver mercury fabric feel free to use mercury or any other type of fabric that you want to combine this particular headgear with you need your scissors i'm using two different scissors one for my fabric and one for the wording which i will also show you guys i need my table of course for marking measurements and this is the wording okay instead of using this wording you can use foam if you don't have access to this wording anyone just something that will serve as a form of padding for your headgear so i already have my fabric cutouts and the dimension is my head circumference by 19 inches feel free to very easy i'm going to leave all the dimensions you need to note on the screen so please take note of everything that i showed also you want to cut your head circumference along the stretchy part of your fabric okay that allows the head gear to sit easily on your head what i'm going to start off doing first of all is to go ahead to mark some dimensions on the screen so for the very first line it's about two inches wide okay and that's what is going to serve as the band but then there's a twist to it so make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't miss out what i'm going to be showing so the very first line is two inches wide then i'm going to mark another set of half inch and draw a line that half inch is where i'm going to now either sew or use my serger on serger is your whipping machine or your overlock machine it depends on you and what you choose to call it okay my overlock machine is what i'm calling my serger like i mentioned in my last turban tutorial i prefer to use serger for making stretchy turbans because sergers tend to make your fabric maintain its stretch okay once you use sewing machine on your stretchy fabric the stretch of that fabric is already compromised so if you know you want your turban to remain stretchy you need to do your stitches using a serger or an overlocker or a whipping machine whatever you or weaving now weaving machine that, that's what uh, a serger is popularly known as in nigeria because i got a couple of questions from people asking or oh, what's an overlock machine what you call your weaving machine is what i'm calling my overlock machine so yeah the second line that i'm drawing now is about three inches wide okay i want my pleats now my four pleats to be about three inches wide feel free to make yours smaller or wider okay when it comes to this particular turban feel free to just you know customize it to your taste okay depending on what you want to make for yourself or for your clients my measurements are not like the bible okay it's not a rule book or anything but this is just what i feel comfortable doing with my own turban feel free to you know make necessary changes on your own so yeah as i was saying i'm going to make my first line the very first line is two inches wide then going upwards i start to make it three inches wide then i draw another half inch right to give me that plate that um four pleats that i want to do that fake pleats just to pinch it a little and then surge you guys will see everything i'm talking about just in case you know i'm sounding kind of confusing right now so just watch me mark my lines i'm still maintaining the same three inches um um space in between my lines like i said again i'm going to repeat it for the last time the very first line is two inches which will serve as the band and i, I am going to see how i'm going to make it work then going ahead i start to make it three inches wide so i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys see what i'm doing and then we'll continue as we go along
all right guys so now that i'm done marking my dimensions what i'm going to do now is just pinch those half inch lines that i have going on and use my overlocker on it okay that's just to help me get my four plates on the right side of the fabric remember that these measurements were marked on the wrong side so this is what it looks like after using my serger you can see that it looks absolutely beautiful on the right side of the fabric this is what you are going for if you don't have a serger use your sewing machine but just note that your fabric might not really stretch as much anymore so if you're using a sewing machine i suggest that you add a few extra inches to your regular head circumference so this is my mercury fabric which is about nine inches wide and about 40 inches long 40 inches is too long right i just decided to make it long because we are going to be knotting this mercury fabric just to allow for you know things not to get messy that's why i made it 40 inches so this is me now after going ahead to sew this one you can use your serger or use your sewing machine any one because the fabric is not stretchy anyway so there's no need you know maintaining anything with this one so feel free to either use your sewing machine or your overlock machine all right guys so what i'm going to use now is my bodkin i'm going to use my bodkin to pass this my wording okay the wording that is going to serve as a form of padding for this mercury fabric i'm going to use my bodkin to pass it through the fabric feel free to use your safety pin if you don't have a bodkin okay all of these things it all depends on you whatever works for you really like i said my my tutorials are not the final thing okay if you find an easier way to do something that i did in my video please feel free to use that your own method so now that i'm done passing the wording through i'm just going to pull it out easily and voila guys i already went ahead to pad my mercury fabric once this is done i'm just going to go ahead to adjust the wording make sure that everything is sitting right and that the joining is at the middle of the um wording i don't know how to explain it but look at the way i placed the stitch of my mercury fabric the stitch is in the middle such that i can hide it when i decide to knot it on my fabric my main poly fabric you guys i hope you're following if you're following the video please be sure to hit the like button so i know that i have your attention all the way through all right guys so now it's time to get to the main crux of this tutorial and it's going to be me basically tidying up everything so it becomes one single turban cap so first of all i'm going to go ahead to place my poly fabric on top of my mercury fabric so just like i'm doing right here i'm placing it right side on the the right side of my poly fabric is on the joining of my mercury just watch what i'm doing and replicate it i might not be saying it the right way for you to understand but if you watch what i'm doing you will definitely understand what i'm talking about so i'm just forming my knots the knot is easy peasy just form a knot like you're trying to tie a knot and then you now start to adjust that knot for it to sit on the right side of your fabric okay make your knot either tight or loose depending on you and your preference or whatever your client asks for then once that is done you're going to flip your mercury padding situation you're going to flip it such that the stitch the joining of that mercury is not showing on the right side so you just turn it at this point you have all the flexibility you need to just fold it or flip it however you want and make sure that it's sitting right also remember that two inch um joining that we did that i said was going to serve as a band this is the point where you want to fold this inwards okay For, just fold that two inch point inwards and then pin it to your mercury fabric i hope everything i'm saying makes sense to you guys but like i said watch what i'm doing closely and replicate it and if you still have any questions please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section below. i'm pretty sure you won't have any questions if you watch what i'm doing carefully and as you can see the mercury fabric is longer than the poly fabric that's because i had to cut a a very long strip of fabric just to avoid any shortness or um inconsistency after forming my knots on this my turban okay so feel free to do that just to avoid stories that touch while making your headgear so what i'm doing now is i'm going to place the fabric the way they are supposed to be right and then i'll start to pin pinning it allows your fabric sit in place for your turban to look nice and put together at the end of the day so all you're going to do now is just get your pins and do all the pinnings before we now go to the sewing machine to now do our final stitch so i'm going to keep quiet now allow you guys watch the way i'm pinning my turban cap and then i'll continue as we go along
all right guys so after doing all of that it will now be time for us to do our regular sewing so the way we typically sew turban right exactly i'll take my fabric to my sewing machine and then sew the turban all the way through so we are sewing from that point where the knot is formed up until the end of the turban but first of all before we get to that i want to cut off the excess mercury fabric that we have going on all right guys so i'm going to also go ahead to flip the fabric to the right side for me to see that everything i pinned is in the proper position okay just to avoid any situation that will require me losing my stitches or anything like that i always hate when i have to losing stitches after you know sewing all the way through so i like to confirm before going ahead to sew so what i'm going to do now is sew right from that point that i'm showing you guys all the way down and then downwards as well to the base of the turban voila once that is done i will now start to do my running stitches okay the running stitch is supposed to give us that gathered situation that we have going on usually at the back side of any turban that you see and once that is done that will be pretty much it for this particular tutorial for the last tutorial that i made the blue headgear i mentioned i was going to give away i was going to be giving away that particular headgear to someone i'm going to drop the name of the winner in the description box as well as on the screen right now so if the if you are the winner please let me know by hitting me up on instagram send me a message so we can discuss how you are going to receive your present this particular headgear i've already won it so i'm not giving it away but you guys should just be on the lookout there will definitely be more you know pieces that i'll be giving away on here on the channel if you enjoyed watching please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up so i know you guys got value from watching this video also if you're yet to subscribe and you made it up to this point in this particular tutorial please do well to join the family it's fun it's educative and it's popping on here on this channel and lastly please 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 do well to share my channel with your friends and family so they know that there's someone on youtube that shares useful content and another thing okay i'm coming with a lot of demands this year guys and i'm so sorry if you feel some type of way about it please 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 i lost my instagram account last year and i'm still on the journey to building my instagram following so please 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 go ahead and search for me on instagram my handle is always at the top left corner of the screen go ahead to find me on there and join my instagram family as well all right guys thank you so much again for watching this video and i can't wait to see you in another one next week bye